You may recall from an earlier video that in Blake's instance of Canvas, if a teacher has chosen to archive materials from their previous Moodle instance, it will show up uh, with the term of archive as well as in the course name archive. And if I want to um, move the materials from this archived Moodle course, and so I can see as I scroll down all the materials that were published in the course, as well as clicking on the modules, all of the materials that have been published into the modules, um, if I want to go ahead and move the materials from this course, the 20, uh, the archive course into the 1516 uh, course, then um, in the archive course, I'm going to go ahead and select settings. And I'm going to go ahead and choose to export the course content. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, create an export of the entire course because I want to pull um, all the course materials together. It may take Canvas uh, a minute or two for the uh, export to complete. And once the export is complete, then um, this toolbar will uh, be completely filled and I will have the ability to select this button to click here to download the course content. So I'll go ahead and click here to download the course content uh, depending on the size of the course. So this is a re relatively large course. Uh, it may take a couple of minutes depending on the speed uh, that I have available. And then I would go ahead and navigate to the course that I want to import the materials to. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, import it into the 1516 year. And you'll see that I have the ability to go back into the settings menu of this uh, new course. And uh, if I want to go ahead and import course content into this course over the right hand side, I have that settings button available to me. And then I can go ahead and choose to upload a Canvas course export package. And that's what I had exported um, a little bit earlier. And then once I do, um, it will import into uh, my course. And you can see that this was successfully completed just last week.